Hi there, I'm Natalie Pasquarella. This is News 4 Now for Thursday, September 5th. First up, let's talk weather. The tri-state could see some showers and some gusty winds Friday as Hurricane Dorian's outer bands brush the coast. The storm was downgraded today to a Category 2, but it's already being blamed for at least 23 deaths in the Bahamas. In the meantime, floodwaters are rising in South Carolina right now as Dorian makes its approach. New video from Charleston shows what people are dealing with. Heavy rain, strong winds, and life-threatening storm surge. The storm also spawned tornadoes that caused major damage in Myrtle Beach and Emerald Isle. Another new twist now in the case of that missing mother from Connecticut. The girlfriend of Jennifer Dulos' estranged husband turned herself into police today. And this comes 24 hours after Fotis Dulos was arrested again. He's been hit with a new charge of evidence tampering. In his arrest warrant, investigators say that Dulos borrowed his handyman's red truck, went to New Canaan, and was lying in wait for Jennifer to come home. They believe he then drove Jennifer's car with her body inside. That handyman told investigators that Dulos later pressured him to replace the seats in the truck. Meantime, Dulos' girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, recanted her alibi that Dulos was with her the day Jennifer disappeared. She's also now facing a new charge of evidence tampering. Jennifer Dulos was last seen May 24th dropping her children off at school. Both Fotis and Michelle Traconis have been released on bond. All right, let's get to that crackdown on vaping. The city of Yonkers now taking action after more than 200 people across the country have gotten lung infections believed to be tied to vaping. We're going to be proposing legislation to the city council that will ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes here in the city of Yonkers. The city wants to keep e-cigarettes away from teens. They say they're being marketed to minors with flavors like watermelon, cherry, and mango. This all comes on the heels of Michigan's ban on the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. Well, it wasn't the best day for fans of Nicki Minaj. The rapper who's from Queens says she is done making music. She made that surprise announcement on Twitter saying she's retiring to start a family. Minaj released four albums between 2010 and 2018. Two of them reached number one on the Billboard 200. Finally tonight, a Connecticut football coach hopes to make history in more ways than one. Jennifer Garzone will become the first female head coach at a high school in Connecticut. It's exciting. Um, it, it's flattering. I've been trying not. I've been trying not to focus on it as much. Garzone will coach the MCW United. The team is made up of players from Housatonic, Walcott Tech, and Wamogo High Schools. They have not won a game over the last three seasons, and Garzone hopes to change that. And we wish her the best of luck. That is all for tonight, but stick around for more gripping details in the case of that missing mother from Connecticut from our News 4i team. For now, I'm Natalie Pascarella. Thanks for checking in.